stop y'all so i didn't really like i didn't want to do this you know what i mean because it's not my what's the word it's not my job to do this you know what i mean like i have no reason to do this like i don't i'm not getting paid you know what i mean um and it's not my responsibility to do this you know what i'm saying but like i am a lifelong wrestling fan i have been my entire life and sometimes you just get a little pissed off at the bullshit. And um, I may be uh, getting worked right now. That's possible that they're using me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's just how it goes. Um, and if I am, you know, it'd be, like, it'd be nice if I got paid. Um, I ain't getting paid for this shit. But, you know, after last night's disappointing, disappointing fucking mania... I had to make this to tell y'all why it was disappointing. And, and the fact remains... Is that WWE as a company, as owned by Vince, is basically just a brand. Um, and you hear that a lot. You hear it's a brand. And you're wondering what the hell am I saying. And I'm going to go match by match and tell you what I mean by that. And um, how it's ruining the WWE. And how there's other alternatives that treat wrestling better than how Vince treats his brand, which is legit his brand, and there's a lot of fans out there that don't get that, and are blind to it, and that's cool, like, you know what I'm saying, I get that, but, just hear me out, um, so the first match, Kalisto versus Ryback, um, Kalisto wins, um, that's one of those where, they're going to make Kalisto somewhat big, Excuse me. But they're not going to push him to the stratosphere. He's not going to be world champion. I severely doubt that. And if he is, he'll have a very short reign. Um, the reason for that being is because Vince McMahon didn't create that character. Um, he did create the Kalisto character. But Samurai Del Sol, which used to be Kalisto's name, is basically the same thing. It's the same mask, all that stuff. He just kind of changed the color palette. And I'm unsure if Vince thinks that's enough. For him to push Kalisto as his creation. Um, but I severely doubt it. Whereas Ryback is legit a Vince creation. Ryback came to the WWE from nowhere but the WWE. Um, they found him in a gym or whatever the fuck. They, made it, they put him on NXT and he's been Ryback the entire time. Um, so expect Ryback to keep getting pushed down our throats because he's a Vince creation. And anything that is a WWE creation is going to get pushed. Um, and that's that's going to be a theme as I push forward through the rest of Mania. Um, the Total Divas beat Team Not Total Divas. Why? Because Total Divas is a Vince creation. And he wants to push Total Divas because it's something that has the WWE brand behind it. Um, okay, fine. Dudley's versus Usos. The Usos go over. Why? Because the Usos are a Vince creation. They're something that uh, started in WWE and have been nothing but WWE. So they're obviously going to go over. Um, I was hoping the Dudley's would win and uh, get one more push as champions as they rightfully deserve for being one of the greatest tag teams of all time and being champions around the entire globe. But WWE doesn't give a fuck about that. WWE gives a fuck about WWE and WWE only, which is fine as a brand. But if you're a wrestling fan and you enjoy wrestling, then it's not fine because he's not going to push the best wrestlers. He's going to push his WWE guys because it's about his brand, which like is common sense. You know, now that I've fucking looked back at WrestleMania and been like, oh, yeah, it all makes fucking sense. The Intercontinental Championship. Should rightfully have gone to Sami Zayn. But Sami Zayn is a creation of Triple H and NXT. Which is where it gets weird. Is that Vince is legit breaking down NXT now. Where if you get a buzz because of NXT. He's not counting it as his own. Even though it is his own. And you would say oh well. You know Sami Zayn used to be a generic or, or whatever the fuck. So that's technically a Vince creation. But he's not using that. For some reason he's using the NXT guys as being a Triple H creation, which is like, what the fuck is wrong with you, Vince? It's still WWE. Somebody has to fucking say it. 
So Zack Ryder wins. Why does Zack Ryder win? Because he's a Vince creation. He was made by Vince. And the thing is, Vince, you're, you're running out of fucking options here. You don't have that many stars anymore. Your creations haven't worked for about 10 years now. Um, so, you know, Kevin Owens, who was uh, an indie darling, he's not going to get the rightful push he deserves because he's not a Vince. He's not a WWE guy from the from the get. You know, he went through the Indies. He went through ROH. And even though he is legitimately one of the best in the world, he's not going to get his proper place for a while because he's not a Vince creation. Here's where it gets interesting. Chris Jericho beats AJ Styles. Why? Because AJ Styles just came off a run of NJPW. And you can't put NJPW over WWE. That fucks with WWE's brand. But the thing is, Chris Jericho isn't a WWE guy either. He's a fucking WCW, ECW, and JPW guy. So, like, if you get to the age that I'm in and you like wrestling enough, you realize most of Vince's creations suck. <laughs> most of them suck, other than maybe The Undertaker. Most of them pretty much suck. Um, especially in ring. Like, even with The Undertaker, the only thing he's got going for him is that he's fucking tall. I mean, I love The Undertaker, don't get me wrong, he's he's a badass, you know, he's an American badass. But has he ever really worked a solid five-star match that wasn't a gimmick match? That wasn't a Hell in a Cell? That wasn't, you know, something of that sort? No. Um, not in my opinion. But I mean, I guess you could argue Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels, he made him whatever the hell that gimmick was. Um, so I guess you could argue HBK. Can't argue Bret Hart because that was Stampede Wrestling. But yeah, and it goes down the line. You, you'll keep looking at WrestleMania. It's just a bunch of Vince's guys going over. Um, a bunch of guys that have been WWE for double, triple generations going over. And that would be great if it wasn't for the fact that there's viable alternatives in New Japan, in Dragon Gate, CMLL, AAA, ROH. That will put over somebody strictly because they're good. AJ Styles went to New Japan Pro Wrestling having no prior inclination in New Japan Pro Wrestling and became heavyweight champion the first day. Why? Because he's that fucking good. Because it makes sense that if you get somebody that's pretty much better than your entire roster, you give them the belt right away so that it can be more entertaining for the fans. Vince doesn't give a fuck about us. And, and I know everybody's always like, Vince doesn't give a fuck about us and blah, blah, blah. Well, here's fucking why. Because he gives a fuck about his brand. He gives a fuck about the idea of WWE as a brand. And he, and he wants people who don't know any better to think that WWE is the best. And there's no question about it. And there's no wrestling that's better. And WWE is the best. And in order to do that, he puts his gimmicks and his creations in front of everybody else. That's also why Baron Corbin won the fucking Battle Royal. Which doesn't even make sense. The guy just debuts and he wins. Like most people don't even know who the fuck he is. And he debuts and wins. Because he's a fucking Vince McMahon. His gimmick is literally hating Triple H's creations. Hating indies. That, that's his gimmick. Like it doesn't get more Vince McMahon than that. And it's like it's cool. I get what you're doing. Uh, from a business standpoint, like, yeah, I agree with it even. I, I think it's genius. I'm not going to hate on the guy's, you know, mental. From a mental perspective, it's genius. But the thing is, I know why you're doing it. You're doing it because you think we're fucking stupid. You do it because you say, oh, well, my fans are fucking stupid and they don't know other pro wrestling and they don't fucking know that I'm just force feeding them my creations and my family lineage and people that have been trustworthy to me. That's what I'm going to push. And it's like, I do know. I am smart enough to know that that's what you're doing. I'm not fucking stupid. And as being a hardcore wrestling fan enough to know that, I'm insulted. I'm insulted. I watch New Japan, I watch Dragon Gate, I watch CMA, well, I'm not insulted. I'm really insulted. I think, oh, well, that's a pretty decent match. There's nothing insulting of, about it. You know, the, the guys who are the best are the higher in the card. Not because fucking you're second generation or because you're one of Vince's guys or whatever the fuck. <laughs> It's because you're legit the best and because the fans react to you the best. That's why you're high on the card. 
And it's just frustrating. It's frustrating because WWE has the best fucking roster in the world right now. The best fucking roster in the entire fucking world. And instead of fucking giving the fans an amazing fucking golden age of pro wrestling of fucking the best shit in the world like hands down where they can legit say wwe is the best wrestling in the world they give us more vince mcmahon putting himself over and that's what this is about that, that's why this is going to be titled whatever it's titled um and that's the end to this rant um the reason wwe sucks and the reason why it has sucked for about the last 10 years or so is because vince mcmahon is a mark for himself He's a gigantic fucking mark for himself. And, and when you look at Gato, when you look at Triple H, when you look at Delirious and other bookers in the world, they're marks for pro wrestling. They like pro wrestling. They don't care who the fans gravitate towards. They don't care how the match is booked or whatever the fuck. They just want something good to watch. And they're fans of wrestling. So they try to fucking book it as a fan of wrestling. Vince McMahon is a fan of himself. And that's why WWE sucks. And that's why last night disappointed me. Because it had potential to be something amazing. But he's a fucking fan of himself. And again, as a businessman, all respect in the world. But as a fan, I'm insulted. I'm legit 100% insulted.